Hi everybody, this is Crystal, and as you can see from the thumbnail, it's time for a yarn review. And I got this Premier Parfait yarn. Now it comes in all sorts. So, um, I don't even have some that they carry. But, let's go over it. And I'll tell you what I think about it. Now, first off, I have to say that my yarn reviews are not sponsored by anybody. Um, I bought all this yarn. I do not get paid. And if I ever leave a link to where you can purchase this yarn, it is not an affiliated link. I do not get money off you buying any yarn that I ever use. I'm not affiliated with any yarn companies like that. So, with that being said, this is just my own personal opinions. Some people like to hear them. Um, they like to know about the yarn before they buy it. So, if you've seen this yarn, it's not a new yarn. But maybe you've been hesitant to buy it because you didn't know about it. So I'm going to go over a little bit with you because I have used this um, a few times. And we will uh, go over the different varieties and what it's about. So it's the Premier Parfait yarn. It is a, it's available as you can see in all sorts. I'm just going to grab one here and show you. Now it is um, classified. All of them are classified as a bulky five weight and I would say that it is a <clears throat> it's a bulky five I said that's probably about a perfect bulky five a lot of yarns nowadays are some of their bulky fives are pretty thin I would consider that pretty pretty much right on for a bulky five um Recommended hook size is a six and a half a millimeter, which I would probably agree, depending on the pattern, but more than likely I would use a six or six and a half for this yarn. And it says that you can machine wash on warm and lay flat to dry. Um, that I would not recommend. This yarn, although extremely, extremely soft, and it's absolutely the colors are gorgeous. It is a very, very delicate yarn. I consider it very delicate. It's very easy for it to pull apart. So I would highly recommend hand washing this and laying it flat to dry. Whatever you make with it. It's just an extremely delicate yarn. Some yarns are very delicate. This just happens to be one of them. Um, it is made in Turkey. And it is, let's find it, 100% polyester. Very, very soft. Now, out of all the yarns, I've had a lot of yarns run through my fingers over the years. And I would have to say that the Premier Parfaits top out as one of the softest yarns you will ever feel. So plush. It's like plush. Very, very soft. Now, you would could uh bring it if i was to compare it to a velvet yarn like the burnett velvet very soft also but the parfait is soft in a different way the velvet is soft silky soft i love it it's a very soft yarn velvet is one of my favorite yarns parfait is soft as a plush soft if that makes sense. A microfiber plushy soft. It's not slicky velvet like the velvet yarn. So that would be the difference. Even though they are both 100% polyester yarns, um, you can see that the velvet is more of a slicky soft. Super soft yarn. Parfait softer. It's a plushy. So it's a very, very soft yarn. I can definitely say that. Um, that I say, let's see, made in Turkey, we went over that. Now, it's available in all varieties, really. They have small skeins like this. Small skeins, they have about 192 yards. All different colors, too many colors to even count. Many, many colors. They also have these that are variegated. Not so much variegated, but more of a spotted kind of yarn and those are called parfait flavors and if you look at this one it this is what it's kind of like their variegated yarns are kind of spotty like this see the inside of this 
So these little skeins here, whether it be the solid or the par or the uh, variegated, which is actually polka dotty looking, all so many different colors of each kind. Too many to name. Um, they average uh, full price around five dollars. But you can pretty much find them anywhere, and it's not uncommon to find them at three dollars a skein. One hundred seventy-five or one hundred one hundred ninety-two yards. I'm sorry. This I would consider a specialty yarn. So the small ones, if you can find them for three dollars, which I've seen them a few places online for that, I don't think that's a bad price, considering you know it's not a it's not a, an acrylic yarn. It's a bulky five, super soft. But it is very delicate when you use it. You have to be very careful because it will pull apart. The polyester, this will just pull right off the string very easily. I can't really get it. See that? It's just, it's very easy to do that, especially when you're working with it. So I, I really like the yarn. You just have to be very careful when using it. Now we got the parfait layers, which are cake form. These are um, available. If you go on Premier's website, you'll see 14 colors available. They're all pretty cool looking, actually. They're striped like this. They're striped with solid and the little spotty variegated. All of them are like that. There's no solids in them. And there's no straight stripes or no straight uh, variegated. They're all solid and variegated pokey dot mix striped like this. 14 colors now 459 yards for the parfait layers bulky five these run on average 9.99 i think for a bulky five that might be a bit pricey but again it's not uncommon to find these on sale i bought mine on sale at joann's for $5.99 and I think that's a pretty good price for the amount of yardage that you get um, so again pretty much available everywhere these are if you look on like I said if you go to Premier's website you're probably going to be paying full price but if you go to Michaels and Joann's you'll be able to find them on sale also AC Moore um, a lot of places carry this Hershner's pretty much anywhere walmart.com you can find um, any of most of these parfaits so this being $9.99, a little high for me, but I got mine at $5.99. I think that's a good price for 459 yards. It's a lot of yardage, especially for bulky five. You can definitely make something with that. And then we got Parfait Big right here. Now this is the same as the small, but much more yardage. The yardage in the big is 574 now normally priced these are 9.99 for 574 yards um again i don't know if i would consider that if you look at other bulky fives with less yardage um some of them are the same price with less yardage i wouldn't want to pay 9.99 it's not, again, as with these, it's not uncommon. It's very easy to find them cheaper. I bought all these big ones off AC Moore for $5. So I thought that was a killer deal, especially for 574 yards. And as you can see, the colors are very rich, very deep colors. Several colors to choose from in the bigs too. Too many to name. They have solids available in them and they also have the spotty looking variegated so many colors i mean i just they're so pretty all the colors are deep and rich very saturated very gorgeous it's very pretty yarn it's just super delicate and some might not want to work with it because of how delicate it is you have to be careful I think when using it um, so you know 9.99 for the yardage of 574 bulky five I don't know if that's fair it might be to some people if you like I said if you compare it to other bulky fives 
Um, I can think, you know, you think of them offhand, like Scarfy. It only has like, it's a bulky five. It has like 300 some yards and it regulars $9.99. But this has a lot more yardage. I won't pay $9.99 for this. And I, you know, I assume no one wants to pay full price for anything. I don't pay full price for my yarns. I think I said that before, unless I absolutely have to. And, but it's not uncommon to find these for five or six dollars. And that's, that's a great price for the amount of yardage you get, considering it's a bulky five. So what this yarn would be good for is blankets. Uh, definitely blankets. I mean, the softness is, it's there. It's unbelievable. I think if you made a blanket out of this and covered up with it, it would feel like a light, soft, I can't, I can't even describe it, air just laying on you, just draped over you. I think it would make a beautiful shawl, a beautiful poncho, um, a beautiful sweater. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it for a bag, but, um, probably pretty much anything that you wanted to, minus the bag, no, you wouldn't want to do kitchen accessories, but probably any type of clothing, um, I think would work out nice, but remember, it's very, it's a lightweight, it's, it's really light, um, and it, it's very delicate, so if you did make clothing, you probably wouldn't want to make something that's going to be heavily worn, you know what I mean, like, uh, a coat or something that you're going to be wearing all the time, I probably wouldn't recommend anything like that, but definitely good for, for blankets, you know, um, like that, baby items and stuff, and, and shawls, and, and ponchos and stuff what I'm gonna do with mine I don't know yet but I have a uh, six and a half here so I'm gonna do a little demonstration I got so much parfait yarn laying around me here <laughs> the reason why I have so much of this I have a lot of this on my shelf it's because AC Moore had it one day online for five dollars and I thought that was such a killer deal for his amount of yardage and I bought a whole bunch of different colors and I'm so happy with the yarn that I got so, you've seen what they offer. Um, they also have another one called uh, Toy Box, which is pretty much the same. I think it's just different colors and stuff. You know, more kitty colors for blankets. And, oh, more kitty colors for blankets and stuff like that. I am so sorry about that. But, we'll go ahead and I'll show you how it crochets. So like I said, it is, it's extremely delicate yarn as far as when you go to crochet with it. It can be split very easy. And sometimes crocheting with it isn't the easiest thing to do. Not for me, anyways. Sometimes it's hard to see your stitches. Not always, but sometimes. I think it's just the way the yarn is being so thick. It's thick. thick. It's a, it's a bulky five. But it's not heavy at all. It's very lightweight. And I made a cow out of this one time. And it was so lightweight. You couldn't even really tell that you had it on your neck. It felt... It's so gorgeous. The feel of it is just remarkable around your neck you know if you made a scarf out of this you would definitely <clears throat> be snuggling up to it around your neck so it's not too bad i guess sometimes though if you use special stitches i don't know it's just sometimes your stitches are hard to see it's not too bad this time But when I crochet with it, I try to crochet kind of slow because how easy it can break away from the string that's holding all this microfiber on it. I know that from experience. I've had that problem quite a bit. Now you let me know in the comments. I'm sure many of you have used this already. If you think that it's an extremely delicate yarn. Do you have troubles with maybe the splitting away from the main string that, that this is on? 
because to me that's my biggest problem with this yarn i love this yarn i love the softness of it i think when i get it on sale the yardage in this in the skein especially the big ones in the in the uh, cakes are very generous and when you get them on sale i think that it's very good deals for them i think the colors are absolutely gorgeous very rich colors um crocheting with it i said can be kind of a task sometimes right now i'm not having too much trouble but my main concern is it being so delicate that for me sometimes it splits away the fuzzy split away from the main string now you let me know if you have that problem that could just be me in the way that i crochet but look at that it's so soft you can make a little uh, stuffed animal out of that oh anybody would like that very very pretty maybe i'll make evelyn a sweater out of this again you just have to be i'm just easy with it when i use it so my yarn because i know it's delicate i've used it plenty of times enough to know that it's a delicate yarn delicate yarns don't bother me Seems like the delicate ones are always really pretty. <laughs> like the velvet and stuff like that. I love velvet. Again, it's a delicate yarn. You just got to take your time. You got to be gentle with it. No speed crocheting with this. I can't speed crochet anyways, if, even if I try. But if you can, this is a yarn that you'd want to just kind of go slow with it. But see, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty and soft. I wish that you could feel it. I know many of you probably have already. So I actually adore this yarn. I think that it's very beautiful, but I highly, highly recommend, even though it does say to that you can wash it into in the washer, I would definitely hand wash it because of the del how delicate it is. Now that is a downfall for some people because some people just don't have the time to do that. But I have been hand washing all my crochet items <laughs> forever. So it doesn't bother me to have to do that. Because that's when I learned to crochet. Um, they, the, the lady that taught me always said that, you know, she always told me, you know, you better, you want to wash anything that you crochet that you can, you know, by hand. Because why do you want to spend hours and hours crocheting something of your time and just throw it into the washer? And have a chance of it being run. So I took that. And so that's why I always hand wash. And I know that some things can be put in a washer. Without a problem. But that's just the way I learned it. So I just. That's just what I do. So me having to hand wash something. Doesn't bother me. And nothing against anybody that puts stuff in the washer. That's fine. I mean. I should probably put stuff in the washer. Because. I mean, it's probably easier because I know a lot of yarns you can do that with. I just learned um, not to, so that's why I don't. So that's not a problem for me, but I know it is a problem for some. Now, it does frog quite well. It doesn't really get hung up on itself too bad. Gently frog it, though, if you're going to frog it. Very gently, because, again, the yarn will split away from itself. You just have to be very gentle with it. So that's... So that's the only downfall for me on this yarn. It's not even really that big of a downfall. Is this you have to be gentle with it. It's delicate. Other than that, I love it. I mean, I love parfait yarn. I think you can turn out some gorgeous, gorgeous projects with it. It just looks very rich. Very, very plush, chanel -y, velvety, very soft. So, I hope my review wasn't too long, but there was a lot of them to go over. There's lots of different brands of these Parfait yarns. Um, so, if you haven't tried this, I always recommend you just buy it in one skein. Maybe you just try one of these small ones that you can get for like three bucks or something and give it a go. You know, um, don't take my word for it because just because I like it don't mean that you're going to like it. I love, love, love lots of yarns. That lots of people can't stand so 
everybody's different. Everybody has their own opinions. But for me, I always loved the Parfait yarn ever since I've, I've used it. I've used it several times. I just know from experience that it's a very delicate yarn and you just got to be gentle with it. That's all there is to it. And I don't have a problem with that. It's the same way with the Burbat Velvet. I always recommend. It's a yarn I love. You just got to be, it's delicate. You just got to be very gentle with it. And that's it. I mean, who could say no to a color like that? That's, that is so gorgeous. Well, maybe you don't like that color, but it is gorgeous. And I'm a brown lover. Look at that. Beautiful. This one's called Mink. Think of a cow made with that wrapped around your neck. So pretty. I'm over here just squeezing it and loving it. Probably grossing you guys out with it. <laughs> okay. That's my review. I like the Parfait yarn. I use it. I have no problem with it. Other, other th other, only thing is that you just have to be gentle with it. Which I already know from experience. So it doesn't bother me to have to crochet slow with it. I know... I would highly recommend you hand washing it. That doesn't bother me. Some people may not like that about it. And that's very much understandable. People have busy lives nowadays. And you can't, sometimes you just can't, you don't have the time to do that. Very understandable. So price wise, always try to get them on sale. Like I said, I got these big ones for five bucks. Not hard to find them for five dollars when you find a sale. 574 yards. Killer deal. These small ones, not hard to find them for three bucks. 192 yards. Not as good a deal as the big ones, but still, not too bad. These layers, I got these for $5.99 on sale. It's not hard to find them for that if you wait for a sale. 459 yards, I think that's a good deal. So yeah, I like it. I do, I like it a lot. And um, let me know in the comments, because I'm sure some of you have used it, what you think of it. And if you haven't used it, head on over to Premiere. Now remember, their prices are going to be a lot higher on their website. But check out their colors. Oh, there's so many of these colors of the big skeins and the little skeins. There's just so many. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you think you'd ever try this, if this is a yarn that you'd like. i really like to know. I always read the comments. So that's my review. I'm in love with the Parfait Layers. I always have been. So thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.